another interesting application of 5G is something that you see on your screen here, a futuristic uh, industry or a factory of the future, as uh, they call it, that is full of hundreds of sensors, uh, cameras, monitoring operation, and automated equipment, such as these automated guided vehicles or these robotic arms. Uh, future industries will rely more and more on automation and all these automated gadgets and equipment will require a communication platform that can offer not just higher speeds but lower latencies and better reliability as well as availability metrics. And such a unique requirement for factories of the future uh, leads to a couple of interesting considerations related to 5G. The first of which is that of private 5G networks. Now, 5G private networks are dedicated 5G networks that are designed and deployed for the use of a single enterprise for their specific operational requirements. This is in contrast with the networks that our phones and tablets use every day, networks that are deployed by commercial cellular network operators. Those are called public networks. And because public networks are supposed to serve thousands or even hundreds of thousands of users in a given city, there is very little scope for customization of a public network for your specific requirements. Uh, which is okay because most of our requirements aren't that different from the requirements of our neighbor. However, a given factory can have substantially different operational requirements as compared to uh, some of the neighboring factories. And that entails that the 5G network that has been deployed to serve that factory needs to be highly customizable with respect to different parameters such as network design, its features and capabilities, the frequency spectrum that it operates in, the hardware that it requires to operate, etc. Such high degree of customization enables us to design and deploy a network that can successfully meet the specific requirements of that particular factory and do so for different factories independently. And as a result of these customizations, private networks can offer significant performance benefits uh, over public networks along uh, some of the KPIs such as throughput or data speed, packet latency, reliability and availability, making them a suitable candidate for uh, factories of the future. And speaking of such futuristic factories, the second consideration that comes into picture here is that of IIoT or industrial IoT. Industrial IoT is the fourth step in the industrial revolution and hence it is also known as Industry 4.0. The first three steps were uh, the mechanization, electrification and digitization of industrial assets. Uh, in industrial IoT uh, or a factory of the future goes without saying that you would have literally thousands and thousands of sensors or a cameras, monitoring operation and a broad array of automated or semi-automated equipment such as automated guided vehicles, robotic arms, automated assembly lines, etc. And all those uh, equipment and devices and gadgets will need an underlying communication platform that can offer high-speed connectivity to the application server uh, and to the controlling mechanism in a reliable and a low latency manner. And as such, connectivity is the cornerstone of industrial IoT. Without connectivity, there can virtually be no industrial IoT, if I might say so. And as you may have already guessed, with its capabilities to offer high-speed, low-latency communication in a reliable and secure manner, 5G is poised to take Industry 4.0 to its next level. And that is the reason why uh, these days we hear industrial IoT and private 5G networks going hand in hand because private 5G networks are what can truly unlock the potential of this upcoming paradigm that is industrial IoT.